Hi, I'm Miles from Carp School, and I'm going to show you how to tie back-to-back -back grinner knot. It's great for tying braided leaders onto spod rods, really super strong, and pretty good for, chain, for tying materials of different diameters together. Okay, so this is joining two pieces of line together using a knot called the back-to-back -back grinner. Okay, so we're going to start the knot, obviously in the same way as tying a grinner, uh, to join a swivel onto a piece of line. Give yourself four or five inches of a tag end and create a loop hanging down with the tag end, so that's this end, closest towards you and lay that up against the other piece of line to form the loop and pinch it in between your right thumb and forefinger if you're right-handed, obviously the other way around if you're left-handed. We're going to lay that up against the other piece of line that we want to join to, in this case the white piece of braid and that white piece of braid we're putting behind this loop. So we're laying it up against it, and I'm gonna hold that in the same pinch that I'm holding the orange loop with. Now take this orange tag end over the top of the white and this loop, and pass it back through the orange loop that we formed at the beginning. We're gonna do that once, twice, three, four, five times. Okay, in braid we don't need to wet it, but if it was mono we do. It's out of practice, it's not a bad idea to do it. And you can see that I'm just gently pulling that down so that the loops all pretty much form as they should do, but I'm not pulling that knot down tight. It's important that you don't pull that down tight now because as these two knots eventually come together, if you've pulled them down tight at this stage, you can create friction and weaken the knot. Okay, turn that whole thing round 180 degrees. We're gonna do exactly the same with this white braid up against the orange. So form that loop that's hanging down with a tag end towards you, hold it in between the right thumb and forefinger and lay it up against the orange line. Take the white braid over the top, back through once, twice, three, four, five times. Going to wet it and then pull that down so that that's creating the rolls as you would like them to. And they're all sitting nice and neatly, they haven't folded over each other. So we now have two knots exactly the same, and we're going to slide them together. Don't be tempted to just give this a good old pull and pull them down together. You need to slide things down gently and make sure it's all nicely lubricated. Now, we need to pull the orange knot down tight, so I'm taking the orange standing line and the tag end and pull that down, and you can see how those rolls are all sitting perfectly next to each other. I'm going to do the same with the white braid, and pull that down nice and neatly. It's not completely tight, but you can see those rolls there are all just perfectly sitting neatly together. I'm now going to just gently pull on the two main lines, two standing lines, and pull that down together. And that creates an incredibly strong knot. If you were tying lines of two different diameters together. You might, for example, tie a leader knot using some thick braid, and you might only put three or four turns in that thick braid. And if you were joining it to some thin mono, eight or 10 pound mono, for example, on a spot outfit, you would put five turns in that. So different thicknesses of the line, you're going to alter the number of turns. Thicker the line, the less turns. Um, but if you're tying two uh, materials of the same diameter like I am here, we're going to put five turns in each. And now that is a back-to-back -back grinner knot. 